Hello, 7th grade teachers. Let's take a moment and look at how we might take a look at our indicators and, to a certain extent, anticipate what might be coming on the short answer questions on the I step. Now, I put before us here an indicator, and let me push that down like that. That's the indicator. Identify and compare the rise of early agriculture cultural val <clears throat> river valley civilizations in Africa and Asia. Now, what might actually become a question from this? Well, the students are going to need to identify and compare. So, let's see what we could do here. The question would probably say something like this. Let's create a question here. Compare computer's running a little slow. I'm going to change that. Describe two similarities two of the Four great river valley civilizations of Africa and Asia. Helps when you spell right. there. Okay. Now we have a question. Now, how would the state probably set something like this up for the student to answer in one of the short answer questions? Well, probably this. They would say, all right, you're going to have to you, you look up above here. We wanted them to identify them and we wanted them to compare them. So that's what we're going to have them do here. First, we want them to identify them. So let's say civilization one civilization two now we want to describe two similarities so let's put down here similarity one two Okay, so now the student is going to need to know the names of two of the four River Valley civilizations and put two of them here, and then they're going to need to identify, uh, to identify and describe two similarities that would be found in both of these civilizations. And that is a typically, way, typically the way in which a question would be developed from one of these indicators. That is a style of a question that in all likelihood the state would provide you for that particular indicator.